All right, if you live in central Georgia, you know what it's like to share the road with trucks. But the ones you're used to at least have a human driver. Now, technology designed to make trucking more autonomous has been gaining traction around the country. On tonight's 13 Investigates, Zach Merchant talks to trucking industry insiders on what their concerns are for the future and what challenges they're facing now. And it feels good. Just get out a minute, get on the road. Greg Manning feels at home on the road. He spent close to a decade driving trucks for Texas Freight Services in Twiggs County. But when an opportunity to join the company's leadership team opened up, he traded in the open road for a desk. But it's not the only thing he's seen change over his career. We had to stop, put a quarter in a, uh, in a, in a phone, and call somebody to find out, you know, where to where our load was going. You can do all that from the truck now. And more change could be on the horizon. Companies across the country from Elon Musk's Tesla to smaller startups are developing technology that one day could automate much of what truckers do. The new technology of the driverless trucks is scary. It's a, it's a scary thing, you know, puts jobs in jeopardy. And Georgia lawmakers seem to be moving in that trend as well. Last year, Governor Nathan Deal signed a law that allows self-driving cars on public roads. But Scott Wheeler, truck driving program chair at Central Georgia Technical College, says for Georgia's roughly 1,500 truckers, it might not be time to worry just yet. Those trucks and automated can get you from A to B, but somebody's got to back that vehicle into the to the loading dock and, and unload it and things like that. So there's always going to be the need for drivers. Many experts agree that the start and end of journeys where drivers often have to navigate congested traffic and narrow loading docks are the hardest parts to automate. And as USA Today reports, Goldman Sachs economists don't predict major job loss in the next two decades. In fact, right now, Wheeler says many trucking companies are facing a very different challenge. They're struggling to find enough human drivers to keep their trucks rolling. The opportunities are more than they've ever been. There, there's a 600,000 driver shortage minimum right now in the United States. Welcome news for Greg Manning, who says he's still a ways away from retirement. He doesn't expect major change in the industry between now and then, but in a few decades, he says all bets are off. Well, anything's possible. I mean, when, when you were a kid, you watched Star Trek, now all that technology is for real. It may be some time before we see it, but there's little doubt somewhere down the road, change is coming to the trucking industry. In Twiggs County, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. Trucks transport more than 70% of consumer goods in the United States.